guys, so I am going to Ikea right now. Good morning. It's like really like 11.30 in the afternoon, but I am headed to Ikea after I go to the post office and one other thing. So then we're going to Costco, then we're going to the grocery store. What a fun day of running around. I just heard a song called The Hills Have The Hills Have Eyes. And it was so creepy. I don't think it necessarily had to do with that movie, but I was like, oh no, I think I need to change the channel. I'm like, it took me forever to get across town. Like it wasn't even that far across town trying to get to our IKEA, but I don't know like what is with traffic today. But I am finally almost there. I wanted to say, I meant to say this this morning, um, have you guys heard of Hello Barbie? So it's an interactive Barbie that's coming out this year around Christmas time. And I want one. And I'm probably gonna buy one for my collection. So many people have negative thoughts that are like, the NSA is listening to your kid and you know, because it goes back to the cloud and it records it so that Barbie can learn about your child and like have conversations and remember things about them like that they, you know, want to be an astronaut or something like that. But it's really like ridiculous when people are saying this stuff and they have their kids have iPhones. Like Surrey remembers shit too. Seriously. Really? You give your kid an iPhone, which NSA is on all of our phones and it's something that you actually have to turn off. And last time with my old phone, I turned it off and my phone started crashing all the time. But T-Mobile is like, it's not that, it's not that. I'm like, my phone was perfectly fine until I turned the like NSA stuff off. And they're like, no, we'll just replace your phone. Don't turn it off next time then. So I haven't turned it off on this phone, but like, if you think that like they're using Barbie to spy on your kid, I mean honestly, Surrey's the same fucking thing and people will hand iPhones to their six year old like it's nothing I and mean, get over it. Like honestly, as a kid, Mattel did it because the number th one thing girls, little girls wanted was a Barbie that could talk back to them that they could talk with. And like they have stuff now where you press a doll's button it says stuff. They had that when I was a kid but it's not the same. And like honestly like as a kid that would have been the greatest thing ever to feel like I had a little friend like that that talked back to me and was a Barbie so I don't know I can't wait for it to come out I'm probably gonna buy it I am gonna buy it I need a hello Barbie <laughs> I'll do like a review on it and stuff when I get it I probably I might wait till after Christmas just because if it ends up being like the whole tickle me Elmo thing when I was younger I'd rather some little girl that really wanted it for Christmas have it than me and I can get it after Christmas but like I don't know we'll see um, they're actually pretty I think this sounds insane but I feel like they're pretty reasonably priced they're gonna be like 75 to 80 dollars which, I mean, people buy their kids all this expensive shit nowadays. Like, for that being like your child's one big gift, I really don't think that that's that much money. Like, compared to people buying their kids $600 iPhones and stuff. Ikea looking at plants. I was thinking of putting some on the table just in bills. They have so many. I'm trying to find storage boxes though. There they are. It would be really nice if they had something, but I'm not gonna get my hopes up. Hey guys, so Ralphie, I drove around the part of town I was in to go to the grocery store in a parking lot to park for the grocery store. I got in Costco fine. I got what I needed out of Costco. I drove across the street to the grocery store that I go to, and it's always really crazy, so I usually drive farther out, but today I was like, oh, I'm near this one. It's the same, like, well, it's still like an HEB, but I was like, I'm right next to this one. I drove around for 30 minutes and I'm like, I'm not opposed to, I'm not that person that needs to park near the door. At Costco, I, I parked at like a completely different store and walked like, that doesn't bother me at all. There wasn't parking anywhere through that whole strip. And like for 30 minutes, I'm like, nobody's coming out of this, any of these stores. I just like gave up. So I don't even know. I have food for tomorrow and probably tomorrow night we'll just go to the store like after everything. Or, um, I don't even know. We have to go, what do we have to go to Target for tonight? Always in Target. Always. 
one of my friends sent me something on Facebook that was like a picture of a basket and it was like, I just came in for cleaning stuff and it was filled with like Halloween decorations. And she was like, I thought of you and your love of Target. I'm like, yes, that's what happens to me all the time, especially when stuff's on clearance. That's my life. But um, I don't remember what the hell we threw a Target for. I guess I better remember. I don't know. Cash. We had to get cash. That's what it was. And they're just the closest place to get cash back. Um, which I probably should have done today. But I'll just do it later. Whatever. Um, so that's all that's going on. Now that I'm home, I'm going to start laundry. And just wait for my friend to like call or text me about the couches. And yeah. So we're waiting for my friend Javier um, to come by the old couches. And we're just hanging out. Justin showed me this video of a porcupine named Teddy Bear who was eating his Halloween feast of pumpkins. I'll link it in the description box below. So I'm wondering now if they're porcupine rescue. Because obviously I would never take a porcupine out of like nature. But you know if they get hurt as babies or they can't take care of themselves sometimes they need to be rescued. So uh, is that a thing? Is there such a thing as a pork? I'm going to Google it. Anyways. Like I said, we're waiting for the couches. Um, my friend called me today and told me something so crazy. I'm still like tripping balls on it. <sighs> Ralph is staring at his reflection in the TV. Like, I'm so good looking. Like, that's how he's looking at the TV right now. It's ridiculous. We, oh, it's dark. We sold the couch to my friend and we like chit chatted for a while. Um, and now we're going to Target and then to get money. And then we're gonna go to bed because we gotta get up early tomorrow for Peter Pan 360. I'm pretty excited about it. Even though my dad never called me back with a time. I'm just like, I guess I'll just get up early and go over there then. But yeah, that's what we're doing tomorrow. We're just gonna go on Target. So I'm just gonna end the vlog and we'll see you tomorrow and I'll try to take pictures or video if I can of anything in the Peter Pan 360 in case it comes through because it's like a traveling thing in case it comes through your town or city so anyways I'll see you tomorrow okay bye